Okay, it's Friday, and I'm going to talk about two parts of your story. We made an outline, and you need to care, need to cover these main bullet points. And I'm going to talk about the very first one because it's way more important, and it's kind of hard to get. A lot of people think they have this, but they don't quite. So. Who's your main character and what do they want? This can start off small, okay? There's a famous uh, Kurt Vonnegut list of writing tips, and he says, your character has to want something, even if it's just a glass of water. And if it turns into something bigger, that's fine. An example I thought of was Fight Club. Last time I was looking at a lot of your guys' outlines, and they were... Uh, people with multiple personalities or people with hallucinations or that kind of angle. And I thought of Fight Club because that was a huge book and a huge movie when I was your age. It ends with all kinds of stuff, blowing up buildings and crazy fights and stuff. But it begins with something really small. The first page of the book or the first scene of the movie, the narrator says, I can't sleep. I'm trying to sleep. I'm going to the doctor. I'm going to support groups. So he has a very specific goal. And pretty soon we're way past that and we forget about it. But you need to give your character a very specific goal right at the beginning. Otherwise the reader's kind of lost and they don't know what's what. And they don't know what to care about. And they don't know if something happens, how to evaluate whether it's good or bad. But if you give them that goal, now we're on something. Second thing I want to say about this is you do not have to tell us why. Okay? You want to tell us what the character wants, but we don't have to know why. If you just say, hey, uh, I've got my little guy, and his dream is to uh, go to Montana. Great. I love it. Let's follow him on his journey. You don't have to say, oh, you know, actually his father was killed in Montana. We don't, we don't need that at the beginning. We can get it later, but there's this... Uh, Necessity for something happening right at the beginning, you know? We don't need to, like, do a prequel first. So cover these, and in your outline, if I haven't looked at it already, I will and give you some tips, feedback, clarification. Next, let me talk about the next thing that we're going to do, because it's not what I said. What I said was we're going to have an assignment to do the first paragraph, and we'll critique that, and then we'll build up to the bigger stuff. However, a lot of people have already written a paragraph, or more than one, and they're kind of ready to go, so I don't want to hold you back. I'm going to skip that, and the next thing we're going to do is the first draft of the story. If you have stuff, great. If not, we got time. I'm not going to make it due today or anything. But let me talk about the criteria for that. I'll post a more detailed list later. The first thing is this stuff. The first category of the draft is going to ask for this stuff. Do you have your character? Tell us what they want. Give them a problem. Go through the conflict. Have a climax. All that stuff. All the stuff that's like on the scoreboard if you were doing, you know, a list of the key plot and character. The second category is stuff that doesn't show up in the outline, which is description, dialogue, that kind of thing. You want to have some kind of description. It might be the land and the background. It might be the people's clothes. It might be the people's accents. It might be how magic works in your fantasy world. It depends on what your thing is, but you got to have some kind of description. And then I'll say you should have some kind of dialogue. It might only be a little bit, but we want to try it out and throw it in there at least once. Finally, the third category is the simplest one. And the third category on your first draft is going to say length. It's going to have a minimum length because I don't want somebody to write two sentences and say it's done. Your minimum length is a thousand words, which is just a nice round number. But most of you will go over that, and that's fine. Most of you will go three or four thousand because you just have enough stuff to cover. If you want to ask about a maximum, I guess we could pick one but usually there's no problem. So today, 
I'm going to go through these tabs I have open and look at all the outlines and I'm going to put feedback and say, hey, this is good. Make sure you put this really early. Or this is a little unclear. Can you tell me what it means? And I'm going to send it back. It doesn't mean it's bad and you have to start over. It just means I'm sending back my thoughts. If you want to start on that first draft, great. If you're missing an older assignment, honestly, I would just forget about it for now and work on these because once we get an assessment grade in the grade book, that counts for way more, and these other guys are tiny, so they're going to shrink in importance very soon. The first draft is going to be your first assessment grade. In here, we probably won't do quizzes. Who knows? Maybe every once in a while. We probably won't do projects. We'll probably just use drafts, poems, stories, publishing at the end, maybe, as your assessments. What do you think? Any questions? Great. I'm going to end this video and get to work on that stuff, looking at the outline, preparing the rubric for the first draft. But there's no rush. I'm going to make this due like a week from now, and we're going to have several days to get on it. Thanks.